in their four years at the Naval Academy, this may be their easiest day. <laughs> but it's also packed with tradition and plenty of emotion. To be completely honest, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Uh, everything's just happened so quickly. The 1,000 plus graduates include Stephen Phillips, who's from Anne Arundel County. I never envisioned graduation day. It was kind of always this like far off moment that it was coming. And now that it's finally here, as Izzy said, it's, it's kind of a little bit overwhelming and exciting to see. This is kind of like the beginning of the rest of our life and our service to the country. They majored in quantitative economics, chemistry, and ocean engineering. Yeah, lots of late nights, long weekends. Um, yeah, at times when you don't think that you'll see the other side, but here we are now, so it's really great. President Trump was invited to the graduation, but he's wrapping up his trip overseas. In his place, Vice President Mike Pence. President Donald Trump is the best friend the armed forces of the United States will ever have. Vice President Pence received plenty of applause here when he reassured this military crowd that the era of budget cuts in the armed forces is over. This commander in chief will always have your back. While they'll soon officially begin their military careers, for now, it's time to celebrate. It's been amazing. It's the best day of my life. Lifelong dream came true. Thank you, Lord. In Annapolis, we made it, baby. John Rydell, oh. Fox 45 News. I can't believe we made it. I can't believe it. Look at you.